Hey guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and today I'm going to take a look at Beatmaker 3. I'm going to stay on the sampling inside of, or you know, sampling from external uh, plugins and things like that inside of Beatmaker 3. And right now, there's a little bit of an issue with Interrap Audio and Audio Bus um, getting the audio in, but for whatever reason, AUM seems to work. And so, if you have AUM, you can go over here to the Interrap Audio. And you can go scroll down and just like select AUM port 1. And what that's going to do is when you open up AUM, since Beatmaker 3 is a host, AUM can send its output into the host, which is Beatmaker 3. And so I've created a new channel strip. And down here at the bottom where it says USB 1 and 2, I can select Enter App Audio one okay so now any audio that I send from AUM is going to go into Beatmaker and so we're um, patterning right now is the one of the big issues I can go main out on patterning <coughs> and I think I have able to link enabled yep and I can just And you can see it's sending audio out. And it may work because it's just an, I don't know. I don't know what out it. Maybe just because it's an audio host and it's not really necessarily worried about the MIDI portion of it. But what I can do is I can stop this and go back into um, Beatmaker 3. I can hit start. And then I can go into patterning. record a couple bars or a bar and then stop it okay and then now if I go to the sampler portion there is sample directly into it so <clears throat> that's a you know an easy kind of a right now it's a workaround but it doesn't it's not necessarily only going to be used until it's fixed because um, you know if you've got a good set up an AUM that you just want to record the output to um, Beatmaker 3 then you know you could easily do that so because let's see files um, mix bus settings okay so like this right here is a mix bus settings that I have to where I can easily route um, you know some sort of interrupt audio or AU through some effects and I have complete control over the mix of the effects and then it's all sending out to USB 1 and 2 but I don't have to send it out USB 1 and 2 I could send it out this way and so like in a previous video that I did with AUM where I did was doing some crazy feedback uh, delays you know I could start recording here and Beatmaker 3 go back into AUM start playing with the crazy echo delays and stuff like that whenever I get done go back into here hit stop and then I have that recorded straight in so hopefully this helps anyone who's right now until um, Beatmaker 3 gets the update out helps them get um, sample different instruments into AUM without too much of an issue too much of a hassle um, let's just clear this out um, another app, let me tr just try this. Another app that I was trying to do earlier was Synthesizer. And let's send this out. And as far as I know, it should, yep, it should work. And then let's go to MIDI. Actually, let's go to Settings. Turn Able to Link on. And it should, yep. So I could jump right back into Yeah, then jump back over. So it's a little bit of a finger dance, like if for just recording one, you gotta use three apps. Um, or an additional kind of intermediary app. But I mean I've I've set up a lot of um 
lot of things inside of AUM, especially with, you know, different effects chains and things like that. And it would be nice. This right here, using the same method, would is going to allow you to record into Beatmaker 3, you know, some of the crazy, intricate things you can do as far as audio routing inside of AUM. So hopefully this, uh, this helps. Uh, and uh, so here's that. Oh, so that kind of, what did that do? I guess that layered it on top of it, yep. I didn't even mean to do that. Is there an option to layer? Or to not to layer? Well, I guess it'll automatically layer as you go if you don't specify another port. Um, it didn't replace it, so that's cool. So now I have both samples on the same. Kind of cool little, kind of cool little groove. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, con just continue to like, comment, subscribe. I do have a Patreon, and if you uh, want to support me in that way, if not, you know, just continue to share my videos on your favorite social media, and uh, I will talk to you guys later.